Hello, Team National Parks, and welcome back. I hope you had a nice spring break. All right, let's get to it. I want to show you um, how to access your history assignment for this week. It's going to look a little different than our flows, which were our flexible learning options. So if you go into Schoology and uh, courses, I'm already in history here, um, you will see that I have put a new folder at the very top that says history slash social studies required online learning experiences. That is called roles. I did not come up with that acronym. Anyway, I want to show you if you open up the folder by clicking here, you will see the weeks that are upcoming. Now, these aren't complete. Um, so this week will be April 13th to the 17th. So you will open that up by clicking on it. Um, now, it looks the same. I don't know why it's not completely opening up here, um, maybe because I haven't um, published it yet. But basically, um, you're going to start off doing the same thing that we've done before, where we're going to go into TCI. And this week, we will be doing Lesson 22, and we will be learning about the first emperor of China. And answering this question here, was the emperor was the emperor of Qin an effective leader? Why or why not? And your learning target will be the evidence you use to support your answer. Because spoiler alert, you could answer that he was or was not an effective leader. All right. Now, um, essentially, you will be doing the same thing, which is reading each section doing the questions in your online ISN. Now, in terms of your assessment, it's looking a little different because it is your processing. So we're going back to the processing activity um, to see if you've met the learning target. And that will be in your ISN. Now, I assign to you um, a lesson guide. And this is the first time I've done this. I don't know if it's going to work. Hopefully, you will see somewhere along here, and I'm going to check in with you guys early in the week to find out where exactly. Somewhere along here, I have assigned this. So you know how I normally put this up on our smart board and I go through it. Um, I found that I can share it with you and you sitting at home can do it like I do in the classroom, meaning you um, could click and do the preview activity, um, et cetera. So I edited it so you could do it at home um, by yourself. Now, a lot of talk to your partner about this has been cut out, obviously. Um, there's our vocabulary. Um, then you go to read your introduction online. Um, and then this is where you read section one and do the work, etc. Let me fast forward now to the processing. So the processing activity, after you've read all the information there is about Emperor Chin, you're going to answer the question, was he an effective, more or less, good, or an ineffective, more or less bad, ruler. If you believe that he was effective, you're going to design what's called a commemorative plaque. And if you believe that he was ineffective, you're going to design a wanted poster. Now, your plaque or your poster must contain a title that indicates whether it is a commemorative plaque or a wanted poster. You need to have a picture of the emperor, and you need to have at least three actions of the emperor 
that justify this plaque or poster, and you need to have an illustration for each action. So ding, 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 learning target right there is highlighted. So if you're essentially saying, yeah, he was the best emperor ever, you have to include three reasons in your commemorative plaque to show why he was. If you are saying, uh-uh, worst emperor ever, then you need to include three reasons why he's wanted for being a not very good emperor. And then all of this will be submitted in Schoology. So I know the last three weeks I had it where you just did everything in TCI, but now we're going to have you submit um, your work in Schoology when you're done. And it could be a Google Doc. It could be a Google Slide. Um, you could do it by hand and take a photo of it and submit it that way. Um, but make sure I can see everything clearly if you choose to do it that way. Alrighty, I think I've explained it enough. Um, let me know if you have any questions when you drop into my new office hours on Mondays and Wednesdays at one o'clock. All right, see you soon. Bye.